Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for joining the session. So what we're going to discuss in this class, in this session. So in this session, basically, we will talk about how do we run the payment program. And the transaction code for that is F110. This is automatic payment program. And uh, that should be there. So that is what basically we wanted to talk about. So first of all, thank you everyone. And um, so in order for us to run the payment program F110, the T code transaction code is F10, there is a configuration FBZP. So in the class we talked about, so there's a FBZP and uh, these steps of configuration should be there and if these steps are there then system will do the so this is this is the prerequisites so fbzp configuration step all of them has to be maintained that we talked about like for all company code paying company code print method in company payment method bank determination house bank so these steps has to be there. Now, another thing which has to be there is the overdue vendor invoices should be there. So we should have some overdue payment invoices. So let's say we create a vendor. So we go to vendor master FK01. And we create some vendor. And this is a regular vendor. So in this vendor, nothing. Uh, so it's basically the vendor we have created multiple times. We put uh, the address, uh, whatever vendor address. And, uh, then we put postal code, whatever city, country, and the region. So it's a standard vendor creation. Hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. We enter the reconciliation account and uh, enter the payment cash payment group enter the payment term so enter the payment term immediate payment so the uh, the point of uh, doing immediate payment is that so we have an overdue invoice so make sure that 30 days and 60 days payment term is not there so slash n is basically immediate payment um, you need a housing bank so we can put house bank so 1000 and uh, you need to have a um, uh, payment method s so let's check so that is the payment method uh, free for payment so there is no payment block and then we save it so we see the message um, 100697 we are able to create a vendor so we make a note of the vendor so this is the vendor we created. So what we did, next step, we created the vendor, import FK01, this is the vendor name. After creating vendor, I want to post um, vendor invoices. So we'll post two vendor invoices, the regular vendor invoice, FB60. So we post uh, two vendor invoices for example could be one could be three so it doesn't make a difference so here we go to accounting and um, document entry fb60 and then uh, same vendor we can enter so this is the vendor we created uh, invoice date uh, we can enter uh, maybe a few days in the future so today is 14 so we can enter 15 the reason is i want to make it uh, um, due today so make it uh, over 10 amount, say 1000 or whatever, hit enter. Um, has not, okay, so company code is wrong. So we change the company code. So company code is 031. So that is our company code. And we enter the vendor number, enter the date. We enter posting date. I, I'm doing a couple of days behind. So just to make sure that we have a outstanding payment. So for $1,000, we 
input some text, and then we enter a regular vendor invoice as we have been doing. Actually, there is nothing different, nothing unique as far as this invoice document is concerned. So baseline date, we put a baseline date, and then we save it. Okay. So we posted one vendor invoice, 1900051. Okay, so we enter the vendor invoice. We can post another invoice as well. <clears throat> we can enter the amount. Uh, we enter 1500. So we have a one invoice for $1,000. We have another invoice for uh, 1500. We enter the account. We enter the amount. Hit enter. Hit enter. This is date. Okay, and then we post another vendor invoice. So what we basically we did, we are able to post two vendor invoices for this vendor. Okay, let's verify the vendor balances. We exit out. Do you want to exit? Yes. And after that, we go to account. Uh, we go to FK10N. We put our vendor number. So yeah, uh, 100697. Yeah, this company code, this was clear. And we have a balance of 2,500. And I have here two invoices, invoice 51, 52. Uh, this is red color, open, open. And here, this is, um, you know, overdue, overdue. So these invoices are also due also. So now we want to go to our next step, which is payment program. So now we want to go to payment program F110. <clears throat> so for that, we go to periodic processing. And here we have a payment. So that is our payment program. I can put a date. Today's date is this uh, identification. Maybe we can put it any identifier. So run date is the date on which you're running the payment program. Identify is basically to identify this program. Okay. We enter the parameter. In the parameter, we select uh, uh, company codes. So this is our company code. We enter the payment method, and then we say next few date is this. In the vendor, we enter the vendor number. So this is the vendor number we are running for this vendor. So posting date, today's date, doc enter, today's date, company code, payment uh, methods, and then next payment run, which is say for tomorrow. We include additional data. We can enter the vendor number here also. And due date check, yes. Uh, payment method selection, if not successful, yes. And then line item for selection. Hit it. We check. Do you want to save it? Yes. So see the message in the bottom. Details have been saved on the run for 814, SAT 6. And uh, we hit enter. We click on this proposal button. And we say start immediately. Hit enter, refresh, payment proposal has been created. And uh, if I go payment run, hit enter, and hit enter. So now here we got a payment order, one generated, one completed. So we have a payment orders, posting orders, one payment has been Generated one completed. Let's verify. So we exit out from here. After that, uh, we go to uh, our FK 10 and again hit enter. We put our vendor number, company code, and fiscal year. Now the balance coming as zero. So credit 2500, debit 2500. If we double click on it, now it has been paid. So cleared, cleared, cleared. This was my invoice number 51, 52, KR, KR. And then this 190053 
This is document type ZP. ZP is a document type for the payment. So this document has been created and uh, this is my payment document. Payment method is S. So it has systemized use payment method S and both document for 2,500, both invoices has been killed out. And from the red, it become our green color. So this is how you can run a payment program. So with that, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.